from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 21st, 2021. Travel from Israel to the United States has been barred for now in an effort to try and contain the spread of the new coronavirus variant, Omicron. The Constitution, Law and Justice Committee of Israel's Knesset voted today to approve the measure to not allow travel to and from the U.S. and Israel, as well as to and from Canada and dozens of other countries, unless given special government permission. The ban goes into effect at midnight tonight and will remain for at least one week. Israel's Pandemic Information Center, meanwhile, shared that Sheba Medical Center, Israel's largest hospital, will be conducting an unprecedented study to examine the effects of a possible fourth booster vaccine on the level of antibodies in 200 volunteers. This will be the first such study in the world. Sheba, by the way, for the second time, was ranked in the top 10 best hospitals in the world by Newsweek coming in 10th place this year, 9th place last year. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is leading a U.S. delegation to Israel to hold meetings with Israeli leaders, mainly reportedly on Iran. Sullivan will meet with Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett, among others. He is traveling with U.S. envoy to the Middle East, Brett McGurk, and the State Department's Acting Assistant Secretary for Near Eastern Affairs, Yael Lempert. The group will also meet with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas in Ramallah. A delegation of United Nations ambassadors continue their Israel visit this week. The envoys hailing from South Korea, Argentina, Albania, Bulgaria, Croatia, Uruguay, Ecuador, Hungary, Nauru, Palau, Samoa and Zambia met with the Prime Minister yesterday, as well as with Israel's President Isaac Herzog, who in welcoming the UN envoys said the Middle East is in a period of tremendous change as more nations embrace the incredible potential of partnerships with Israel. The UN, he stressed, must encourage this positive momentum for the sake of global peace and security. The ambassadors who are being hosted in Israel by Israel's ambassador to the UN, Gilad Erdan, last week received a briefing from IDF officials on terrorist threats facing Israeli civilians and toured a terror tunnel in northern Israel, built by Lebanese-based Iranian-backed terror group Hezbollah in order to infiltrate and attack Israel from Lebanon. The IDF stressed to the delegation the critical importance of designating Hezbollah and Hamas as terrorist organizations, sanctioning their operatives and enforcing UN Security Council Resolution 1701, put into place to keep the peace after the war with Lebanon. 18-year-old Israeli swimmer Anastasia Gorbenko won a second gold medal this weekend in the World Swimming Championships taking place in Abu Dhabi. She won her first gold on Friday, finishing first in the 50-meter breaststroke. It was also the first ever gold for Israel at the championships. And then on Sunday, Gorbenko came in first in the 100-meter individual medley. President Herzog called Gorbenko to congratulate her, he said, with the win, Anastasia became the first Israeli in history to win the title of World Swimming Champion. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Tuesday, December the 21st. At 7, Rabbi Emil Hirsch discusses how public confidence has eroded when it comes to the critical institutions of the media, the courts, schools, churches, and synagogues. At 7.30, Israel in the Biden-Bennett era is discussed by a panel that includes Michael Doran, Jonathan Shanzer, Tommy Ben Chaim and Ben Samuels. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi Bert Vizotsky on L'Chaim. At 10.30, Eli Kohanim sits with former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, and then with talk show host Mark Levin on Global Perspectives. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider.
And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, December the 21st, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.